What is up guys? Welcome back to Dave and GL. One, two, three, four. Have not made a very, you know, kind of personal one-on-one -on -one video with you guys in the longest time. So you know what? I was thinking, why not do a Q&A video? So I put a post up on my Instagram and on my Snap asking you guys to comment some questions about anything that's related to me, related to wrestling. It could be any question you want to ask me. So you know what? I'm gonna answer them. Don't care what the question is. I'm gonna be doing my best to answer your guys' questions that you asked me. So let's just get into it. First, we're gonna start off with Snapchat just because there weren't that many questions I got from my people on Snapchat. And those questions are kind of short and simple. So I'm gonna answer those first. First question is from Katie. Dude, why is Superman blue, red, and yellow instead of red, white, and blue? So, if he was red, white, and blue, he'd be standing just for America. Yes or no? Yes. But he is red, blue, and yellow because the sun is yellow and the sun is universal. The sun is everywhere, not just America. So, the sun goes around the whole world, so does Superman. He saves anybody in America and any other part of the world. There's your answer. Next question is from my friend Jasmine, JTM. She actually asked three questions, so I'm gonna answer those right now. First question, do you think you will always be a Superman fan? I mean, why would I be a Superman fan my whole life? Um, I don't know why you would ask that. Cause like that's ri that, that's ridiculous. I don't even know I liked Superman to be honest. I mean, <sighs> yeah. Her next question is, how did you find your passion for creating YouTube videos and filming? Well, I didn't really, you know, start off my YouTube as a passion. When I first started my first ever channel, which was Dave and GL123, um, that was back when I was a freshman and I was just bored at the time. And it was just to like, you know, just, just make videos cause I was bored. And also just cause like, why not? I was doing stupid shit on there. Like, you know, ghetto cooking with Dave in and you know, math equals bullshit and you know science is bullshit all these stupid fucking videos i mean i didn't really think i was gonna get anywhere far with it but you know everybody kept telling me yo you're actually really funny i've been hearing from my family for the longest time my cousins my mom my sister my friends everybody always telling me i was really funny and that i should actually keep doing youtube and you know i gave it a little bit of thought took a break from it but then i started to think you know why not actually make videos that people would like to see and actually give my opinions on things in the world. Hence why I do like, you know, wrestling prediction videos and I do skits cause you know, that's entertaining for people and I'm doing a Q and A so you guys can get to know me a little bit better. So my passion for it, I mean, I just really, I really like doing YouTube videos. I feel like I get to connect with you guys. I feel like, I feel like my opinion matters and also for filming it's just really fun to do like it might be a bitch to edit like it might be a lot of work but it is worth it just because it's so much fun and i really get into it it's it's kind of like my own me time personally because i get to you know just blur out the rest of the world and you know be myself when i'm creating youtube videos i'm always myself anyways in real life but like i get to show you guys even though most of you guys already know me in person, but like I get to show you guys like who I am and get to express to you guys right now who I am, which is what I'm doing in this video. And her last question is, what's your inspiration besides Superman? Um, My inspiration besides Superman, like you mean like people wise, to me, it's not Superman the person as my inspiration, more of like his symbol, but like inspiration wise, if you're talking about people, I mean, this might sound stupid, but like, He's right there, Eminem. That dude is a really big inspiration for me just because you know, he's crazy, he speaks his mind, he doesn't care what anybody says, you know. He he just doesn't fucking care at all. He speaks what he wants to say and nobody can fucking stop him. 
And you know, that's just what I've always been about. I've always loved people who have spoken their mind, didn't care, always stepped up to the plate no matter what happens in life and take the initiative to try and fix it. And he does that through his music. And I love his music. His music, he's actually my number one artist. I love him. Like till death, he's amazing, amazing artist. He's talented at what he does and I respect him a lot. So, you know, he's one of my biggest inspirations and also some other people which I'll get into later because somebody actually asked a similar question towards that. Next question is from my homie Omar, which you guys might've seen in one of my vlog videos. He asked, what heritage are you from mostly? Basically, what ethnicity am I like? Okay, so I am Portuguese and Puerto Rican. I'm also 10% um, African American because some of my ancestors that are in my Puerto Rican side of the family actually came from Africa and their parents are actually African American. So I am 10% black, if you want to say that, basically. Last question from Snapchat is again from Katie. And it's actually funny, I put it in this order because it says, wait, please put this in. If you're Puerto Rican, why are you white? Because I'm also Portuguese. Portuguese people aren't, you know, classified as Hispanic. They're European because Portugal is in Europe. And as you know, most Europeans aren't really, you know, like kind of yellow. I mean, I'm not that white. So like, I'm, I'm yellow. Like, I'm just a little bit lighter than this envelope right here. Okay, so chill. I'm white on the outside, Hispanic on the inside. Also, African and inside, just keep that in mind. So now we're gonna move on to the questions that I got from my Instagram post. And right now I'm just gonna say, I'm sorry if I pronounce anybody's names wrong. I'm gonna do my best. I don't want you guys to get offended if I say your names wrong, but here we go. First question is from Rebby underscore ZF10. What do you prefer to be, heel or face? If anybody doesn't know what that question means, it is a wrestling term for bad guy or good guy. So bad guy is heel, good guy is face. And to be honest, where I'm heading to look towards is in the middle of both. I wanna be a face, but like I'm open to being in heel. So like kind of, you know, CM Punk type of character because CM Punk, you couldn't really classify him as a heel or a face because you know, he could be a good guy, but like also have his douchey moments, but like everybody loved him for that. And he was also, you know, a douchey character, but also had his like, you know, good guy moments and with the pipe bombs and shit like that. Everybody loved that. So like, kind of like a Deadpool kind of character, if you want to say that, like an anti-hero, you know, hero, but not really at the same exact time. I, I just think that's something that's, edgy and kind of cool you know why not so like i don't really have a preference more of like a merge but i really don't care which i want to be it just matters on what they want to be and i'll try my best to pursue to be a heel or a face and i'll try my best at it next question comes from diana torres fr what was your favorite cartoon as a toddler Here's the mail, it never fails It makes me wanna wag my tail When it comes, I wanna wail Mail! Blue's Clues. I love Blue's Clues. I mean, shit, if Blue's Clues was on right now, I'd probably go out there and watch it just to relive some old, you know, child moments inside of me. But, yeah, that was my favorite cartoon as a toddler. So the next question is from Test1974. Who are some of your role models? That's going back to that inspiration question I was talking about. So, number one, Martin Luther King Jr. I've always loved him because, you know, he he taught us. He, you know, told us what he thought. He always said what was on his mind. He spoke his opinions and, you know, he tried to have us become together. And, you know, to be a man, to go up on anywhere in public to give a speech on how you feel in life, that makes you more of a man than anybody else in the world. And that's why I love him. That's also another reason why I love Eminem. And that's what I'm trying to be, come is, you know, a role model and 
I actually want to give a speech. I'm actually trying to give a speech at graduation. I know it's usually supposed to be the valedictorians and everybody, but I am also in touch with my principal and, you know, all the graduation counseling people who are involved with it. And they're actually liking the idea. They said I could probably do a speech, you know, and also have the valedictorian do a speech. And they said I would be making history because nobody else has done a speech but the valedictorian. So, might be making some history this year. Who knows? I mean, senior year, that's the way to end your high school experience. Why not go out with a bang and make an impact on everybody and inspire some smiles? Next question is from Free versus BR. Are you planning on going to WrestleMania 35? Funny you should ask that because I had just talked to my mom about this the other day. When I graduate, she's taking me to WrestleMania 35 because it is going to be over here in New York slash New Jersey. It's claimed to be in New York, but it's actually gonna be in New Jersey. It's just gonna be promoted as in New York. And I'm in Connecticut. It's not far of a drive at all. My mom says she's gonna buy the tickets. And I'm gonna put some money towards the whole WrestleMania thing too, because you know, I wanna go to WrestleMania Access. I wanna meet people and I wanna, I, I want to do the whole thing like my first WrestleMania like I I have to do everything so Yes, I will be going to WrestleMania 35 next year. That is what is actually happening I'm not holding back on you guys. I'm not lying. This is actually happening and I'm pretty fucking excited about it My first WrestleMania ever Should be lit. I'm hoping it's gonna be fucking epic next question is from that white kid Thoughts on giving a herd of wild hogs a rim job are, are you asking me if I have thoughts on that, bro? Um, no. No, but do you? Because you gotta really think about some sick and twisted, crazy-ass, fucking nasty question like that to even ask me. Like, what kind of question is that? Who who just thinks of something like that? I, I think you need some help, sir. Next question is from Jet C. What's the scariest thing that has happened to you? The scariest thing that happened to me actually just happened about a week ago. And I was in bed, laying down. I know damn well I was not asleep. This was not a dream. Not even fucking lying with you guys. But it only happens when I have my back face towards that side of my room, like behind the camera and my face is facing towards the wall right here. Like, you know in movies when you hear a room about to like possibly explode, like it gets dark. You can hear the room get dark. That's what I heard. I heard, <sighs> got silent. I got scared, tried to move. I felt like I was pinned to my bed, like in that position facing towards the wall. Like my eyes were open. I felt like I was pinned to my bed. I tried to scream, like I was opening my mouth. I could not speak. I wish I had a GoPro so like I could possibly record this some night, but I tried to scream, I could not. And like, I felt like my dog, Daisy, was on my bed behind me, trying to like, you know, play with me, like bite at my head. But like she, like, she wasn't making contact with me. But like, my dog isn't in my room. I don't have any animals in my room when I sleep at night. But like, I felt like my dog was on my bed behind me. Then I heard a laugh and that's when I was able to like, you know, fight out of the pin and I turned around, nothing, nothing was here. Like there was no body, there was no animal, there was no nothing. And I freaked out. I even told my mom about it the next morning. I don't mess with ghosts. I, I can't. That is the one thing I will never mess with. I can't deal with ghosts. I'm a little bitch when it comes to even, you know, hearing a little whistle in my ear. Even if it's from a real fucking person. Like, if I hear a whistle in my ear, I'm decking you in the face. I don't care if you're a ghost, if you're a person, if you're a baby, if you're an animal. I don't care. I'm punching you. Don't do it. Next question is from me, Shira. Any advice on women? Yes. Just shut the fuck up. If a woman and you are arguing, just shut up. Just shut up. Let her talk. A woman is always right. Don't argue with her, nothing. She will always be right. Even when you know she is wrong and you have proof that she is wrong, she is right. Hey, don't argue with her because I'm not just gonna create a bigger argument and you know, things aren't gonna end well. Just let her be right. 
and then you know eventually she will find out for herself that she was wrong and she will come back to you and apologize or maybe not and just not even speak to you and then you go and try to talk to her about it in a calmly manner but do not do not cut a woman off in the middle of any kind of sentence in any kind of argument whatsoever all right it's it's just it's just not going to work out so like i said bro shut the fuck up next question is from x jessica o what is the stupidest thing you have ever heard another really good question i work at arby's and you know one day i had a headset on i wasn't working drive through but i had the headset on just in case they needed my help my boss john he was taking an order this dude at drive through he was like you know 50 something years old so like he has no excuse to why he asked this question but he had ordered two beef and cheddar doubles we have a coupon for that my boss asked him do you have the two for five coupon for that this dude i don't i don't know why or like what he was thinking but he asked what's a coupon i immediately took off my headset and started dying in the middle of the dining room and my boss turned off his headset and started dying with me it was the funniest shit i've ever heard but also the stupidest shit i've ever heard next question we got is from nuriacha sorry if i fucking botched that name so bad she asked how do you dab good answer you don't just don't just don't do it it's dead just leave it alone just let it fucking rest in peace like or just let it rest in peace what's a dab next question we have is from vadim dot volko 52 what is the meaning behind your tattoo if you guys don't know what my tattoo is i'll just show you real quick but that's my tattoo the superman symbol you know popping out my chest ripping skins ripping everything else so meaning behind that tattoo i don't know if i've ever gotten in depth with it before so basically superman symbol stands for hope that's what i've been standing for for the past four years now is hope and trying to inspire people and i love to help people so i will always have hope in my heart that's why i have it right there over my heart ripping out of my skin because you know i'm trying to have my hope come out of my heart and release it to like everybody else give everybody else hope so that's why it's like you know ripping out of my skin and it's over my heart i want me to express my love and hope and help to others so there you go i hope that was pretty clear next question is what's your favorite book what's a book next question is from gustavo bob valenti you can only choose one to smash, Nikki or Cardi. Ooh. Nikki Minaj or Cardi B. Oh my god, but why? Why would you give me such a hard fucking Oh, why would you give me two hard ass options? Nikki and Cardi, they they both have that ass. Like I mean, Nicki has, you know, that voice, that raspiness, like, when she gets angry in her songs, like, yo, that, like, little prrr shit, oh my god, Cardi, you, like, you see that face she makes, that, like, little snarl, like, she puts her finger right here on, and she, like, does that little snarl, like, that wink, oh my god, I, I can't have both, it's only one, oh my, uh, Cardi, am I making the right decision? I'm sticking to it. Car D, all right? There you go. There's your answer. You happy? You fucking tore me and Nikki apart, but like, fuck. Next question is from Asik and Nate. Don't know if that's how you pronounce it. His question is, Jewel Gang? No, I'm not a part of any gang. And second of all, I don't jewel. I don't jewel. I don't smoke. That goes for, you know, cigarettes and the marijuana. Um, I don't do any drugs. I don't smoke any kind of herb or drug, anything like that. Um, no, I'm a clean guy. I 
Like, I'm clean. You want to give me a drug test right now? I will, I will fucking do it for you guys. I honestly think dueling is stupid if you guys are offended by that. I mean, I'm. it's not directed to you. It's just hearing the funniest shit in school is hilarious, you know? These jocks will be walking around, you know, all big and bad, like, yo, uh, football, yeah. You know, Eagles, they suck. But yet they just fucking won. Yo, you want to go s smoke some caramel apple? Hey, I got that new cotton candy flavor. But you have that mint? Can you pick, like, you know, a manly flavor at least? You know, not something that tastes fruity in your fucking mouth? So you guys just keep doing what you're doing? I'll do what I'm doing, but Jewel Gang, not for me, bro. Next question we got from Instagram is from Felicia Adam. Her question was, what grinds your gears? Another good question. I hate it. I get fucking livid. I want to deck somebody in the fucking face whenever I hear anybody call me Davin. I hate that shit so much, especially at school, because, you know, all these teachers, they don't know how to pronounce shit, but, like, only with my name. My name is not hard to pronounce. It's Davin. You know the name David? Yeah, just say that, but, you know, instead of a D at the end, it's an N. Because, like, I'm pretty sure when you say David, you don't say David. No, you say David. So, like, why can't you say Davin? You gotta say Davin like there's some weird fucking accent over it. Because there's not. I can't even say here. No. When they say Davin, I'm like, Davin. Every class. And especially on the loud announcements. Like, if they're calling me down to the office or something. Um, Davin. And then they say my last name. And then, like, my last name's all fucked up. So, like, I can't even... I can't even win. Sometimes I don't even go down to the office when they say Davin. Because, like, I'm just like, yo, who's that kid with the fucked up name? That ain't me. What y'all talking about? And then they... Somebody from the office sees me in the hall, and they're like, oh, we called you down to the office. Oh, you did? I didn't hear my name. I heard Davin. I ain't hearing no David. And the last question from Instagram is from... K Sandra, favorite video that you recorded and why? That is a great way to leave off the video. My video, This Is Me, just because it was me recording my past life, how I used to act, who I used to be, what I used to do, and who I was in, you know, my early kid years, like, you know, elementary school, middle school. Yeah, I was bullied in elementary school and I would come home to you like you know my mom yelling at me because of my grades and there was all this like you know family shit going on my sister drama like I was all that pressure was just on me I used to cut myself and I was not proud of it and I'm glad that I've become the person I am today and it was my favorite video to record but yet my hardest video to record because every scene in there was literally exact moments like i remember all of those moments clearly like all my movements all those movements that my little cousin did were the exact movements that i did like it it was crazy because like my little cousin joseph that was playing little version of me in the video looks exactly like me from when i was in middle school like he looks like the young version of me so like me standing behind the camera and recording him doing what I was doing, it broke my heart because like I visioned him doing it. And also it was like I was looking at myself and like me getting to stop myself in my own video actually, you know, kind of gave me the feeling that I actually did stop a younger version of me. Like I actually felt like I stepped in the past and stop the younger version of me from cutting myself and being a better person. Like, I actually felt like I helped myself. It was a it was a very, very hard video to do just because it made me think of old memories as I kept recording. Like, I never did it behind the scenes just because of this reason, but like, every time I stopped the scene, like, I was crying. Like, I was, like, my eyes were tearing just because not because of like the moment, but like thinking of like, yo, I was a fucked up person. I had a fucked up life. And like 
look at my life now like i'm making youtube videos for you guys and i'm helping everybody else out i'm always inspiring people i'm spreading hope to everybody like i've become such a better person but i used to be a dick i used to get bullied i used to even used to bully some people like and now i'm i've stopped all of that and i've recreated myself two three years ago and i've i've been a better person ever since and i just hope i can keep being that person and that's what i intend to do and you know i never used to have goals in life and now my main goal is to be a wwe superstar or any kind of professional wrestler just because that's really what i want to do but that video was the deepest and you know darkest most intense video i've ever made in my life any person that saw that video that i've seen watch the video they they cried just because like you know everybody has been down that road everybody has been bullied everybody has had those days like we've all been there you might say no i haven't dude you've been there you guys have been there we're all we have all been there it's okay and that's what i stopped doing i'm a better person and i hopefully you guys can see that from this video and i think that's a really good point to leave it off on but thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for all the awesome questions if you guys have any more questions comment down below and also make sure to smash that like button also subscribe to me wherever my icon appears on the screen or just press the subscribe button down below also there's another button next to the subscribe button and it is the little bell click on that and you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. This way, you'll be the first one to know when it is up. So you can click on it instantly and watch it. And also click on my last video wherever it is on the screen. I don't know where I'm going to put it. But click on it, watch it, enjoy it, and like it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.